Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I'm beginning a new video series. In this series, I'll be processing an image from beginning to end in five minutes or less. Today, I'm processing what I'm calling a travel photo in Luminar 4. Now in future episodes of this series, I'll do different types of images in different applications. But I'd like your suggestions. What application would you like me to use? And what type of image would you like me to process? In the comments below, let me know. And in future episodes, I'll do it. Of course, many of you know I'm familiar with all the different applications there are from Capture One to Lightroom to Photoshop to Affinity Photo. So whatever you'd like to see, let me know. Now, before my five minutes is up, let's get started on this image. It's a raw file right out of camera. What I often like to do first is crop. I don't think this needs to be cropped. I seem to have captured it properly in camera, so I don't need to do anything there. Next, I like to do lens corrections. This was shot with a DSLR, and lens corrections in Luminar 4 are, is under the Canvas tab. And if you go there, you can see down here Lens and Geometry, and we're going to check all these check boxes, and then I'm done there. Now, next I'll go up to Light in the Edit tab, or the Essentials tab, I'm sorry, and we're going to go to Advanced Settings right away. The reason is I like to do a uh, profile right away. I like to pick the profile early in my workflow and then process off that pro profile. And for this image, I think I want to use Camera Vivid. So it's uh, Luminar default at first, but if I hover over Camera Vivid, you can see I think that probably looks a little better. So we're going to jump right to that. And then I'm going to process from that point forward. Now I look at it and the shadows are dark. So I go right to the shadows and I'll open those up. I'll move that to the right. I'll bring highlights down a little bit, kind of rein those in. Now, um, I'm going to do a white and black point next. And to do that, I'm going to turn on the clipping ind indicators by hitting the J key on the keyboard. And you can see I'm already clipping some of the shadows. You can see some of that blue overlay on these uh, light posts. But that's okay. And then I'm going to move white's slider to the right. And when I see red start to come in, that means I'm clipping the highlights, you can see some of those clouds. So I'm going to back that off till all that red is gone. And similarly for the blacks, I already have blue clipping a little, or I have some blue on the image, so I'm clipping the shadows a bit. But I'm going to move that to left a little more and clip those even a bit more. So I'm satisfied with that. Next I'll add some contrast with Smart Contrast, just a little bit, not a lot. And I think I'm done with the Light tab. We're going to then go to the Color tab. And I'm going to bring saturation up a little bit more. And I forgot to turn the clipping indicators off. You can see the blue still on there. So I'll hit the J key again to turn those off. And then I think what I'm going to do is under the advanced settings button here, um, I am going to go to yellow and I'm going to make the yellows a little brighter in the image. Maybe increase the saturation of those just a bit. And then I'm going to jump over to blue. And I'm going to make the blues a little darker in the image by moving luminance down. And I think that's good. And then um, I think we'll jump down to the landscape enhancer. No, I'm not going to go there. I am going to go to uh, AI enhance and I'm going to the AI sky enhancer and I'm going to enhance the sky with that. And then um, I should add this was shot at very low ISO, so there's really no noise in it at all, as you could see. So in the description below this um, video, I'll have all the camera and gear info and settings I used to capture this image. So I think that's good there. So I'm not going to do anything with the noise. Um, with Details Enhancer, I am just going to sharpen it, I believe. Uh, there's nothing under Advanced Settings I think I need to do here. I just straight sharpening. And then... Um, I'm going to jump back up to color and I'm still going to go on that blue. I think I'll go to the cyan tab actually and I'll bring uh, luminance down. Eh, it's kind of affecting some of those boats in there. I'll bring luminance up a little bit and I'll go back to that blue tab and I'll bring that down a little more even. And um, I think I'm done. I'm just going to go to the vignette. This is nothing fancy here. I'm going to put a relatively dark vignette on that by moving this to the left. And I'm done. So 
There is before and there is after. Process that in less than five minutes in Luminar 4. Again, if you have any suggestions on what type of image you'd like me to process and the application you'd like me to use to process that image, let me know in the comments below. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.